It's time back home. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized video. Halloween 2 once again stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance and is directed by Rick Rosenthal. Picks up right after the events of the first one. Michael Myers continues to stalk Lori after she's been transported to the hospital. So most of the movie takes place in the hospital. If you were to piece this movie and the first one together, it would be one movie. Pretty much. There would be no stones left unturned. You could edit it just perfectly and just make it one movie. Just like the first one, Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance gave excellent performances. The characters was kind of the same as the first one. This one was made for a little bit more. I'm not really sure. I'm not entirely sure how much more. I know it was way more than what the budget was for the first one. This one was owned by Universal, which is a bigger company than what the first one was owned by. The kills was way more graphic. They wasn't as minimal as the first one was. This one was a little more gory, I guess you could say. The editing was done perfectly. The cinematography and the lighting was really good. Dean Cundy from the first one returned to do the cinematography. It looked really good. It was, it was well lit and you could tell what was going on. The music, I have to talk about the music. It is by far one of my favorite scores out of the entire series. To John Carpenter's original, Alan Howarth added a, a slight touch to it, and it was really awesome. Not to degrade John Carpenter's verse, Alan Howarth actually did a really excellent job adding a thicker sense to it, and it was, it was, they, they had that synth sound to it. And it, it, it made it real good. It made it real awesome. I loved it. The beginning credits of this movie, I actually have that. I bought it off of iTunes years ago. And I jam out to it pretty much every day almost. When I was younger, I used to think of it as, that's a little Christmassy. I, I, was, I was silly. I was a kid. <laughs> it felt like a full-on survival movie. Because, as I said, it was a continuation of the first one. You could edit it piece by piece and it'd be one giant movie. So in a way you could say it was a survival movie. It's a survival movie about this woman who's being chased by this maniac, plain and simple. Ah, and the plot thickens. That whole thing about why Michael is chasing Laurie, you get to find out why in this. All right, the pros, I've got to go with the kills, y'all. The kills is more, much more graphic, and as I just said in my last review of the first one, I don't mind a little gore. And this, this still wasn't gory enough to today's standards, but it was gorier than the first. It had more kills, it had a little bit more blood, and I could tell they had more money to, to pull those off because it looked really good, like the fake blood and all that and the kills and the way Michael would handle himself. It was really good, I gotta admit. All right, the cons. Jamie Lee Curtis, even though she was in this movie, she didn't really live up to expectations. Not like how she did in the first one. Donald Pleasance, you know, of course, he returns as the psychiatrist trying to help the sheriff hunt down Michael Myers. He gave a good vibe to it. But Jamie Lee Curtis, she wasn't in it that much. As soon as she got to the hospital, they were examining her and giving her shots and everything. But in between, it just felt like there was so much long waits of her whenever it was, when she would show up again, it would be like a long time before she would show up again. But by the time the third act happened, she made up for it, that's for sure. Plus, Michael's knife, the knife that he used in this, it wasn't the famous butcher knife that was used in the first one. It was, it looked like this little scalpel type knife. I don't know, I just, I couldn't get into that portion. I mean, Michael Myers, he's always going to be chilling. He's always going to be frightful. But they could have at least gave him a better instrument to use. 
I'm just saying. In closing, this is a really good movie. It's a good sequel. It's a good sequel for continuity purposes, especially if you're looking for something to start right off the bat after the first one. And this is definitely a good continuation of an excellent icon. I'm going to give Halloween 2 a B+. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. I'm going to go through all the Halloween movies, hopefully in time for Halloween and for the new Halloween movie, which comes out the 19th of October. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace the rip out! I know that was stupid. Peace the rip out.